Hey y'all, this here's Penbar18. Today I'm playing a little bit more Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Alright, let's get back in that sandbox. I don't know what I'm going to play with though. Alright, we're going to have a reenactment of the Revolutionary War. We got the Americans in the blue on the right. We got the Breadcoat Brits on the left. Let's see what happens. We got good old timey firing squad action. Let's do it. Alright, we've already got men down for no reason. They're very close. I'm hoping for total carnage. Well, these guys were too polite to shoot, I guess. These guys totally fucked each other up. Oh, man, this is this is some nasty stuff. They're still too polite to actually hit each other. They're just letting their friends do all the dirty work. Man, maybe some of them Canadian. I don't know. Oh, looks like the Americans win the front line. Never mind, nobody wins the front line. Everybody's dead. All right. Oh, looks like Red is having a better concentration. They have more men left. I, th I think the Brits are winning this one. What battle is this? This must be Bunker Hill, I guess. Oh, no. But they can't... Oh, no. They're the no, yeah, they won. All right. I call for a rematch. We can't end like that. Let's do it again. All right. We're, we're not going to have a Canadian side, I hope, this time. Nope. This side still missed. For some reason, they're closer together. Probably from shitty design on my part of laying down the battle lines. But you know what? I don't give a fuck. So, um, so pretty much these front sides are just wasting the back sides. Oh, no, 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 they're okay, yeah, they're shooting over there. And it looks like the American backside was shooting itself. Like a fucking moron. I guess what helped, um, I actually do see what, ha what helped. See, over here on the American side, these guys survive longer. And whereas on the Reds, on the British side, the Brits won again. All right, let me let me just point it out on the map. All right, over here, these guys survived longer. They wiped out these guys, where you had this concentration down here. Since there were no red guys left over here, all of these blue guys shot over here, resulting in the back ones killing some of their own guys up here and killing their guys over here. Whereas all of these ones right here were dead, but there were still a few of these guys over here left. So like this mount was shooting over here while these guys were angled shooting down here she's still shooting their own guys but they weren't wasting their own guys back here because these guys weren't firing in that direction they're firing in this direction so whenever all of the middle is dead and these guys it's time to just shoot back and forth well they ain't got nothing left so or they have less people so they automatically win but okay let's see what happens without the men in the back Who wins now? Ooh, it's it's lining up differently. I like it. Fire! Well, that, that was shitty. I, I expected more men to die. Give, give me what I want. More men. Dead. Now. Ooh. Ooh. The Americans have the advantage. They have they're wider, more spread out. Ooh. And they're aiming. Oh yeah. This is this is the Americans all the way. This is um this is Yorktown, or where, wherever. I, I'm not quite fully up to date on my uh, Revolutionary War battles. All right, I want to show you all what a dark peasant can really do. Here's uh, 64 peasants. So let's see what... Bam! There you go. Now he's doing what he's supposed to do. Before, he was leaving all the samurai off of the spikes. But on these peasants... They just go on the spikes. Oh, who do you... No, okay, he didn't forget anybody. Dark peasants are tough to beat. They can be beaten, though. Can Hillary do it? How... Oh, shit. Hillary cannot do it. Alright. What about dear leader Trump? Oh. Add, add, you can build it as high as you want. You won't start stop the dark peasant. Oh, but you know what will... Right, let's, let's give him some distance, actually. He needs a distance. M16 fucks up a dark peasant. But it's boring to watch, so we're not gonna... Okay, what do we play with next? Alright, we switched over to Denmark. We're gonna have a Crusader versus Viking Army. We got Headbutters and Thieves up in the front. We got Spear Throws and Arches in the middles. In the middles, I, I can't speak. And then we have Vikings and Footmen in the back. Let's see who wins. Und trinken! Alright, our first lines are going. Oh, seems pretty... No, no, it looks like the Thieves uh, win that day. 
oh, but the, the archers, and there's no clear lines. This is a clusterfuck. Why did I think this was a good idea? I don't know, but I suppose this is going like all battles. Shit's just all fucked up. Um, there's a lot of a lot of missiles flying around. These guys are throwing it into spears because they don't like the... Or, what the fuck am I saying? They're throwing their spears into rocks because they just don't like them. Okay. What do we have left? We have one Viking. Uh, he's going after the archers, but he got fucked up. And now we have spear throwers. They're going for the archers. They missed every shot right there. They're still missing. This archer is a fucking beast. They just couldn't hit him. And that was that. Alright. We're going to do a similar thing over here in Japan with the samurai. So you have taekwondo, ninjas, samurai. I think, I don't ask me why I made the lines curve like that. I don't fucking know. Why are you asking me questions like this? Shut up. Um, I, I actually think this one's, they have, no, it's very even. But I think the samurai are going to take this. Not necessarily because the samurai is so much better. We clearly saw, I, I think, the footmen won in the last video. I don't remember. But the ninjas are very, very good. So I, I think the ninjas are going to make the difference. But let's see. How does this happen? Ooh, Taekwondo go in. But these center skirmishers are just fucked. And okay. See, the ninja advance as they shoot, whereas the archers stay back. That gives them an advantage. I'm not sure if the archers have the range. Ooh, I should find that out next. But they, uh, okay. Oh, shit. Archers have it. Damn. Oh, no. Oh, it's, it's two on one. Can he do it? Well, the ninja, nope. The ninja got shot in the dick, and that ended his glory. All right, I want to see what I was talking about. All right, that looks somewhat similar. I don't fucking know. Let's see who wins. Ninjas. What the fuck are you doing? Get back in the game. Ninjas or samurai? Oh, yeah. Well, the the archers aren't... Hit. I'm sorry, it's not ninjas and samurai. It's ninjas and ar or archers, yeah. Fuck. The archers just took it. The samurai are, are wrecking them as they get close. But look at all the ones that never got close enough to launch a single uh, ninja star. Damn. All right, we're going to try this. We're down in the Sahara, and we got the Greeks. I don't know why it seems like they put the Greeks in the Sahara. That doesn't really make sense. The Greeks did fight in their conquered northern Africa, or partially, I guess. Yeah. The Ptolemies, which were Alexander the Great's... Or Ptolemies, Alexander the Great's general, and he became the king of Egypt. So I suppose they did somewhat. But all right, so we got spearmen and that, because the Greeks don't seem to have any ranged units as of yet. So, okay, let's see. Um, I don't know who's going to take this one. Because if the thieves, they're probably going to go down quick with this, from the spears. But if they get past the spears, they're going to wreck the spearmen because they're short stabbing motion. It's pretty good for when you're way up close whenever it's like that. But even if the, the spearmen get past them, they have no shields because their shields are behind them. So they're going to get wrecked by the archers. But then we have the archers who... Uh, I, I'm not sorry, then we have this, the uh, the shield guys, which I don't know how they're going to do. <clears throat> I'm never really sure how they do. But, I mean, uh, we'll have footmen and leftover, maybe some leftover thieves. Probably not. The thieves are going to, some are going to die. I say half are going to die to the spears, and they're going to kill spearmen, and then this wave hits them, and it's just going to be fucked. And then you're just also going to have ar arrows shooting into the back of them, but whatever. Let's see it. Alright. See? About half, no, shit, more than that. Okay. Thieves didn't do very good against the spears, but they did stop them long enough for the um, them to get close. Uh, I don't know why we have archers running up, but we do. Uh, this seems to have taken a bad turn for our Crusader army. May actually, maybe not. They're doing pretty good. The archers? Uh, no, those archers, y'all are fucked. Uh, cause you can't possibly get behind him to kill him. Oh, oh, oh no, you didn't do it. He's gonna, no, you're already dead. What's left? Alright, we have a lone shield out in the loneliness. He's trying to block arrows. Arrows are killing their own men from behind. And he's in a circling battle with an, um, a crusader that already got speared in the balls, but he ended up getting hit anyway. The Crusaders seem to be unstoppable. What do we do? 
what we have is Napoleon has come to the Sahara. He fought in Egypt, I'm pretty sure, so shut up, it's fine. I was scared that if I changed the location, it would fuck up my formation. I didn't want to re-put it. Jeez, okay. Fuck with the cannons, they're a little stronger. Alright, I gotta add to my crusader strength. Eh, fuck it. Not really. That's enough. It should be fine. Let's see what happens. Napoleon came in to defeat the crusaders. How's it gonna go? Boom! Boom! Very nice. Why is there a line of men missing? Oh, man. See, this is Napoleon over here. He's leading his troops. They are, they are winning pretty bad. This is pretty brutal. I still want to know how this just line of men right there. Probably cannons hitting it. I mean, if I'm going to be say so myself. Oh, did he? Will he get to it? Ooh, that crusader gave his life to stop the cannon fire. It was brave. Napoleon? Oh, Napoleon got hit by arrows. Oh, my God. Napoleon lost to the, to the Crusaders? Fuck. Okay, so the Crusaders have beaten the Vikings. They haven't beaten a fellow Crusader army. That might be interesting. But okay, we're going to see if they can beat Hillary and Trump working together as a team. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. The, okay, you're beating the thieves. I mean, you're kind of thieves yourself, so I guess, you know, that's how they know how to handle them. But now we're getting to the real warriors. Oh, Trump is getting speared in his titties. Oh, he put up a good defensive block. He's shooting Hillary. She's throwing emails at him. Their, their alliance is shaky. I don't know how it'll stand, but we're going to see. Oh, oh, there's the wall. But did it did it block? They're still both alive. They're still going at it. Oh my, Trump, they are filled with arrows. I don't know if they're going to make it up to take him out. Nope, who went down? Trump went down. I think Hillary might have actually killed him. She was sneaky. She wanted to be president herself, so she hit him in the back. She's going at it. She's throwing them emails. She has to beat one more person. Who? What's his name? What's the WikiLeaks guy? Julian Estrange, that's his name. She's going after him. He's shooting him at her. Doesn't seem to phase her. Just like the shit he was saying in real life. Didn't seem to phase her all that much. She can't hit nothing. He's hiding in that embassy. What's going to happen? He's just going to keep shooting. And oh, he might take her down. Willie, we're going to have a bird's eye view if he does. Nope. She ended up assassinating him. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't say that, did I? Yes, I did. So, Trump and Hillary teamed up took out the crusader army i mean it, i'm pretty sure she backstabbed trump uh, to take over herself but you know well it's politics let's see if the dark peasant can do it fuck i know he can i just want to watch him kill them all and there they go you're not impaling them like you're supposed to okay oh shit jeez it's just very very brutal only ranged things can kill him. Nothing else. Nothing up close can do it. Alright. Alrighty. We're going to have the Crusaders fight off against a peasant army. It's not all just peasants. We have uh, barbarians and farmers. because, And they're all shit out of way because it's unlikely that a random uprising is going to, you know, have good battle lines or anything. Not that these are good battle lines, but... I don't know. So let's see what happens. All right, the thieves, they're going to go at it first. Who's going to win? I honestly don't know. Shit, this is going to be a massacre. The peasant army is going to slaughter. <laughs> uh, all right. How you doing, Crusaders? Not very good. This is just, this is just a, a wreck. This is wreckage. Textbook wreckage. Oh my. Oh my. They're just, it's its not good. What do we have back here? We have some uh, footmen who decided they really liked this rock and wanted to have sex with it. So that's cool. I guess I can understand that. But they came here to fuck your life up and that's what they are doing. Oh, no, they're, they're holding on. He, he's fighting. He said, I love this rock and I won't leave you. But it was to no avail. Alright, so for the last finale, we're going to have a hundred uh, regular old peasants 
without the barbarians and farmers, because I feel like the barbarians and farmers added a lot to that army. And we're going to see what happens. They have somewhat lines, just because it's actually harder to make it look just random and all put around than it is to actually put them in a line. So I'm all about ease. Let's see what happens. Is it going to make my computer look bad? No, not really. Okay, good. Good, good, good. This will be more accurate. We're going to see how it goes. My thieves are doing pretty good. They're working their way in before the real men get into it. You put the thieves at the front because they're expendable. It's like Genghis Khan. He had an army of like 100,000, or I don't know, maybe more, something, amount of refugees in front of his army so that the enemies would attack them and kill every, on, you know, people that aren't his army before they actually got to his main army. And the Crusaders fucked him up. That was actually boring. I don't like that. That was a shitty ending. So we're just going to have a line of M16s and they're going to completely slaughter the Crusader army. It's, it's, you might want to look away. This is some nasty, brutal shit. This is a massacre. Oh, they're hiding behind the rock. That's good strategy. That is very good strategy, but they are laying down all sorts of suppressing fire. Eventually, they're going to flank you, and, geez, this is good. I mean, you should still be working your way around. This guy's going to get here. Oh, there's one. Or maybe they're not going to work their way around, but they should. They're, they're laying down some serious lead right here. And they're about to start shooting each other, maybe. Oh, what the fuck was that? They're actually doing a really good job of not killing each other. But they're, they're not utilizing the flank. Oh, hey, they managed to kill one of them. So, uh, can you, uh, can you kill this guy? Oh, there we go. They finally killed him. I didn't quite see it, but y'all probably did. So that's cool. But, uh, alrighty. Oh, that was fun. The Crusader army did their thing. I don't know what I'm going to do in the next one. I'm making this shit up as I go. But alrighty, folks, that's going to be the end of this video. Remember to like my video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Twitter, all that good shit. And, well, deuces, y'all.